<laughs> um, and uh, with this worker going out, it's quite possibly uh, going for a for a barracks rush, which is very interesting. <laughs> um, and we'll see how that pans out for him. This is obviously a build he's practiced quite a bit. It's uh, very good, and we do actually see a six expand here from TVK. Uh, we do see proxy barracks going down here from Jibs. So it would be interesting to see if uh, TZK's build incorporates um, <laughs> uh, incorporates a way of defending against uh, this build from from Jibs. Um, so TZK's work is going to go out, and probably by, by about two minutes, it's going to see uh, the fact that there's some shenanigans, shenanigans? Uh, going on in uh, Jibs' base. That's going to take him a little while to see. At the moment, he's, uh, he's not queuing up any gold for a tower. So we'll see if he's able to... Um, we'll see if he's able to hold off the... Uh, Proxy here from Jibs. It may be a two, there's only a few units probably coming out here from Jibs, which won't be particularly strong versus workers, but we have seen just a few units piled in can do a lot of damage. And uh, TZK rallies over, sees no expansion, so he knows there's got to be some sort of aggression, but he's not actually um, come in here yet and actually confirmed what's going on. Although he would expect to see a barracks near the front here if it wasn't a barracks expand. And he's going to move up. So he's <laughs> he's clearly played against Jibs before. He knows where to expect that. Pops up, checks, see, and there goes the tower immediately there. And he's going to be a rifleman out of uh, Jibs straight away. Yep, Jibs is confirming there's going to be a tower here at the front. That's going to be really difficult for this rifleman to get in and really do much damage. Um, but he is going to at least be able to put some pressure on. And uh, TZK actually with a slightly late tower, this rifleman is going to do some damage, but he's going to use the worker to boost the uh, speed of it. So we'll be alright. And he's going to stop to pull ahead and work as an income now. Uh, Jibs just backs out immediately as soon as that tower spawns. There's a second rifleman coming in behind this, so it's going to be quite a while before Jibs is able to actually really put any pressure on uh, TZK. And TZK is going to take quite a significant lead in the start of this game here. JBS actually shooting the poke in. Possibly a mistake there from uh, Jibs, he doesn't really get much extra scouting information. <laughs> um, and just take a little bit of damage on uh, his rifle here. Oh, excuse me, I'm quite tired. Um, so TZK is going to send out a worker here. If JBS is on top of it, he will deny this. Um, there's no way that TZK can really get a scout off at the moment. And JBS is actually playing essentially the same build that he would do on the route, and after this proxy rack is just going to go straight into double gold mine expand but it's a lot riskier on this map um, simply because they're so separated and it's also um, it's also so much closer to his opponent uh, than him this time which unlike on the route it's a lot easier to defend and Tizuki is actually going to go for dragons um, so he's down a fort on his natural base here. I'm not sure why he's going. Oh, I guess the natural creates a better wall off against the rifleman, but it does reveal the tech of uh, Jibs goes in for it. Um, Jibs actually proxying a barrack straight off it, uh, catapult straight off this, and we might actually see Jibs lose this because uh, we saw that the rifle dragons last time, but that was a three or four barracks worth of production, 
And that's not what Jibs is going to have this time. He's only going to have one, and he's going to have catapults alongside it. So Dragon's going to be able to do a lot more damage against his rifles. Jibs is trying to sort of poke um, and sort of open up a few possibilities for himself later. Workshop almost done here for um, Jibs as he uh, is going to have a similar work account soon. It's 13 to 15. And he's going to just take this forge down. That's slightly annoying, but without soldiers, that's not going to make a big deal at this stage of the game. And Tease Kit is going to be a look like he's going to go for the same build again. There we go. There's the Jungle Dragons there. And Jibs don't really have to do a huge amount of damage. The catapult will allow to put him on a lot more pressure uh, in terms of harassing this tower. Um, but it is it is going to be on a bit of a timer because the um, the dragons are going to be here soon, and that's going to really put a dent in uh, Jibs' ability to harass and actually stay around in this game. But he is bringing in a lot of gold uh, with this uh, quick expand to the double base in the background. He throws down a tower of his own, which is going to be great against the dragons he suspects, or does he know? Well, he doesn't know yet, uh, but he probably suspects uh, it's coming. So, it looks like he might just... He's going to poke in. There we go. He confirms the fort. Uh, it takes a little bit of damage for his troubles, but he, that means he knows pretty much for sure the build um, that TDK is going to go for here. But... The important thing is, can he do anything about it? He's got no defences at home, and as much as he's got a, <coughs> as much as he's got a catapult here at the front, which is going to be able to put down some damage and not work, because I'm going to do a huge amount when this tower's up. Uh, if TZK manages to survive this, it's going to be very, very difficult for Jibs to live much longer after that. First so couple of catapult shots starts to land on this tower here, and um, CZK will start to repair this tower, but that catapult's going to do a lot of damage. Jib's not electing to build another catapult in behind this. He's in fact just going to go into a right room. He got the response he wanted, I think. Double Dragon Productions now starting up for CZK. And this is going to put uh, Jibs on a bit of a timer. He's not able to get this um, tower down, he doesn't have the units for it. But these dragons are just going to sit here, they're going to be able to trade alright with riflemen, uh, with riflemen in such few numbers. They won't be able to do much to the tower, but they will do a huge amount to the worker line behind this if they get out. And obviously, dragons are the fastest unit in the game, so they are actually going to be able to uh, get away from. Uh, the riflemen and the catapults, not the catapults and fire at them anyway, but they will be able to do a huge amount of damage if they can get to those worker lines, because JBS currently has zero defense at home. This is costing TZK a little bit of gold and mining time in the bay, though, but that is nice. And here come the first two dragons. And TZK is just going to position them at the front and just sort of force out, um, some extra damage on these units, going to force them to try and step back. This is going to be a little bit of a dance here for the minute, as uh, TZK doesn't want to get in range of the riflemen and the towers, but he's going to try and do as much damage as he can. It's a questionable decision to attack these units at the front, it might have been a better one to sort of go on the side and try and backstab his opponent, um, but we'll see how it plans out for him. JBS just um, Continuing to build riflemen with this oddly placed barracks. Um, and a forge does go down in the background, so he's going to keep trying to use this. It will go into upgrade riflemen versus dragons. And dragons are really not trading particularly well with these riflemen. They've got a very poor um, sort of set of stats on them. They've got a very large health pool, which makes them good combined with heal mages. 
but other than that, they're possibly one of the worst units in the game at the moment. Uh, so JBS actually collecting through them another uh, barracks really close to his opponent's base here, which will make reinforcing easier. Dragons are managing to do a bit of damage compared to the last game, but they're still being really pushed back by all these riflemen at the front here, which is just a hard count for them. And uh, Tuzuke is taking a lot of damage on this tower uh, back into sort of the natural. And he's managing to do a bit of damage to his units at front, keeping those low, but these dragons are nearly dead. The next set of dragons are about to pop though, so unlike last game, he's going to be able to have quite a few at the front. These dragons step for almost pick up another dragon here. Um, a bit of a supply block there for TZK. He's going to have his dragons delayed ever so slightly. And Rifleman trying to step off to the side here. You can see the slow acceleration of dragons really makes them vulnerable to Rifleman sort of stepping forward and doing some damage. And it's going to be really quite difficult, I think, now for TZK. He's taking so much damage on these dragons and they're not grouped together. Unless he can start to pick off uh, reinforcements or attack worker lines, he's going to be a long way behind pretty soon. They're still pretty even in worker camps at the moment, though, so it does have that going for him. This rifleman at the front is going to die, though. It's not really going to do much. And there goes the catapult shot, takes the rifleman out. TZK is just lo under a lot of pressure at the moment. There's not a huge amount he can do. He is slowly whittling down these riflemen, though, so that is working in his favour. What I'd really like to see of TZK here is possibly going to mages to heal these dragons back up. Because, uh, Jibs is just going to keep rallying, keep reinforcing his base. And when the attack upgrades come in, that's going to be a really difficult time for him. He does, Chizuki does lose a dragon at the front here to these riflemen. Not choosing the best angles to attack. Oh, he gets right on top of these riflemen. That's going to take a lot of damage as he doesn't turn around to return the fire. This tower at the front though isn't being repaired and this is going to go down. Another rack uh, goes down near the front here for Jibs. And again, just a solo dragon out from these nugs. He is keeping the rifleman count very low here, so we'll actually hopefully be able to put this back, but this tower's going to be a real pain. Dragon are really bad against the tower. He tries to take engagement, he gets on top of the catapult, but you can see how quickly the health plummets. And just these four riflemen are probably going to be able to pick up another dragon or two at the front here, they're so low. Tuzuki is in a huge amount of trouble. There's not much you can do here. Jibs is starting to put another catapult, so we'll be able to come in and pressure this tower again. He did manage to keep the previous one alive from the last battle. TZK is going to uh, force units to run after him, uh, because he can just essentially attack these uh, worker lines for free and just get a whole bunch of damage off. Uh, he has only sent one off though. TZK is starting to get mages in the background, which, as I said, not only will be great for healing up the dragon, but it's a great composition to get, um, but also is going to um, allow him to get flame strike versus the riflemen, which is really good because riflemen have uh, quite low armor and uh, they've got quite low health, so that will be really effective for TZK here. Um, JB has got to know that uh, TZK is trying to transition into this late game composition here in the background. Um, but he just sort of needs to actually put some pressure on here. He's not managed to do a huge amount. He's denied the third base and taken effectively his own here. Um, but what he really wants to do is actually start to try and do some damage to TZK, which he's not managed to do so far. Dragon steps out and does take a bit of damage. He managed to step forward and take out the catapult, which is really nice. Uh, riflemen aren't really going to be able to engage into this two tower choke. Oh, this dragon stepped way too forward. JB steps forward, the dragon drops immediately. Heal spell is on the way here now, and mages are being produced. But fresh catapult comes out here from Jibs. And we're just sort of watching another stalemate. It's uh, going to take a little while to resolve itself. JBS going for some odd barracks, okay. But TZK is going to be able to harass 
in the background a bit here, but you can see JBS is a tower now. 